All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a little bit uh, going through some more stuff as usual. Um, I went ahead and I purchased a new uh, OEM map sensor um, again. And um, this one came directly from the dealer. Um, I got it. I was able to spread the pins open a little bit on the map sensor itself to be sure it was getting enough uh, connection on the plug. So I went ahead and did that. So I put all that in, put it all back together. The car still gives me a another map fault once again, a circuit one. And I think it's a P0105 code. Um, so it's I'm pretty much looked from the sensor all the way up to the ECU and all the wiring. Everything else is good. Uh, there's no breaks or anything like that as I could find. Um, so I went through multiple sensors and, you know, we're going towards, uh, it's a faulty ECU at this point. So I am actually, I purchased one from uh, Race IQ themselves. Uh, they had one there. So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, take mine out and I have to ship it out and then they can, uh, reclone, uh, clone my ECU and put it on another one and then send it back and then, Hopefully that fixes this this whole stupid map fault thing. It's ridiculous um, But a uh, good thing though is uh, if it doesn't work if it doesn't fix my issue um, They said they will be able to you know give me my money back and uh, send back their ECU again and redo the process and then We'll be looking elsewhere for uh, something different. So then obviously then it is somewhere in the wiring so I may end up having to get a another harness to put in for the the engine harness. So I got to do what I got to do at this point and get this thing uh, moving like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out quick. I was gonna show you guys uh, just how to take this out. It's uh, unlock lock. Same on this side. I'm gonna go. This one broke when I got the cart. So you just push it backward to open. Push back to open, and then just. Pretty much wiggle this loose. It can, be, it can be weird sometimes. And there we go. Let's go ahead and slide that out like that. Sit it right there. This is the ECU. Um, but first, before you do any of this, um, I usually unhook the battery, both terminals, and push the brake pedal in for a few seconds to deplete any. Um, any electric that is in any charged up in the in the circuit helps just alleviate any little sparks and stuff like that anywhere but uh, you have to start from the front and work your way to the back with this the way these little pins are designed so the first one you can grab I'm actually gonna try to sit this down it's a little bit difficult to do one-handed let's see here these can be in here pretty good too. It's just these, the front and back ones here. There we go. <clears throat> so you can see it's already lifting out. So that's one plug. <clears throat> and then these have little pins. You push those down and then with the other finger, you flip this one down and then it pushes up on the plug and then you can go ahead and remove it. Same with this one. Push on the tab a little bit, pull it forward, pushes the, the connector off, just move that out of the way. Same on the third one, or I guess this will be the fourth. Move that one out of the way, set it off, and then one more push tab for the way. If I can move this back, <clears throat> this way back one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. It's gonna be a little bit, a little bit difficult to get uh, again here. All right, I gotta use my other hand here. Hold on a second. All right, I'm gonna just pop that one out. I took two hands on that one. But then just move these wires out of the way, and then you can go ahead and grab the, your ECU and pull this one out. 
there's like a little holder in it too. Gonna push that down. At least mine's like this. That's where it seats down into. Let's go ahead and push that off of it. And one more down. And perfect. Alright. <clears throat> that went ahead. Pull that out. Here is my ECU. And here is the model number for mine. If anybody needs needs one, doesn't know, you read around the back of your ECU. Find that. There's nothing. There's no damage to any of the pins on here. There's no corrosion, nothing like that on them. Uh, Race IQ did tell me that they do have a lot of E55s that the ECUs do just go bad. And it's not due to tuning is what they told me. I, I don't know 100% on that or not, but this thing has had probably two, two to three dozen tunes done to it. So this one has, <laughs> has been uh, programmed and reprogrammed quite a, a good many times. So I mean it does it kind of just makes sense that this thing is just bad at this point. But I honestly I hope this is it because I'm tired of fishing around with all this little stuff. But yeah guys, I that was just a quick little tutorial to show you guys how this is uh taken apart. And it's just your and then and way in the back one. I believe it's a green one. Yeah, I got it. I believe it's right here. So if you guys were I think I had it in one of my other videos. This one's actually for the, uh, I think it's for the aromatic uh, pump, so you can take out the relay so it just stays off and it doesn't ever kick back on if you open the door or anything like that. <clears throat> and that one goes way in the back here, there's like a little little spot back there. Um, but yeah guys, this is uh, this is it so far, it's kind of a short, uh, shorter video right here, but I just wanted to show you guys what... What it's like just to take this out real quick and uh, just a little update of what's going on. I'll be sending this out, hopefully overnight it, and then hopefully I should have it hopefully by the, this coming weekend and uh, see if this car actually actually runs it runs good. Um, when I started it back up, it ran perfect and flawless the first time, and then once you shut it all at warm up and then you shut it off, and then the next morning it will usually show the code for like immediately. So it's kind of weird that it works on the first initial startup, but then after that, it starts giving the code. Uh, it recognizes it, so we'll see what happens. Send this out, and I can uh, let you guys know what happens next. So I'm uh, interested to see. And uh, yeah, guys, so, uh, thanks for uh, watching the videos. Uh, thanks for uh, subscribing and liking commenting. Um, I love it. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.